In this video, we'll create a neon glow effect in Inkscape that can be edited on the fly. I'll start by creating a black rectangle for the background. Next, I'll create a text object and change the font to something nice, like Sacramento, which I found for free online. Then using the Select tool, I'll hold Ctrl and scale up the text. I want to make the text white, then I'll move it onto the background. Alright, now I'm going to group this text object by pressing Ctrl G. This is a very important step, as we'll see later. I'm next going to create a clone of the text object group by pressing Alt D. Then I'll click this button up here to send it to the bottom, then click this one to bring it up one step, so it's between the background and the original text object group. Now I'll open the fill and stroke dialog, and at the bottom here, I'll give this object a blur of about 15%. Okay, I'll create another clone by pressing Alt D, send it to the bottom, bring it up one step, and give this one about a 30% blur. Alright, I'll clone one more time, send it to the bottom, bring it up a step, and blur this one quite a bit. 50 something percent should be good. Okay, now I'm going to open the Layers and Objects dialog, and in here, I want to open up the first group inside layer 1. This text object is the original text object, and if I select it here, I can edit it on the canvas, and all of the clones will change accordingly. I can even go to the text tool and change the text if I want. And the reason I created a group earlier is so I can go to the Layers and Objects dialog and right click the group here and choose Enter Group. And now I can create more objects inside the group and they will be cloned as well. Alright, and to add some color to all of this, I'll first select the background rectangle and duplicate it with Ctrl D. Then in the fill and stroke dialog, I'll give it a linear gradient and change up the colors. And now down here, I want to change the blend mode to overlay. Then I can adjust the positions of the gradient stops until I get something I like. Okay, and if I go to the layers and objects dialog, I can lock the overlay object here. Then I can go back to editing and adding objects. And that's how we can create a neon glow effect in Inkscape. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.